So this is a transformer for four houses in the neighborhood and there's a battery backup in it. And what I've been told, which the electricity hasn't gone out yet, but it stores so much electricity. So when the electricity does go out, there'll be 12 kilowatt hours of electricity, which will run my small appliances for a few hours until the electricity goes back on. But what's really neat about it is I've been told there's only two houses in the United States that they're testing these batteries in real time. All the rest of the utilities are testing the batteries in a lab type situation. So I'm one of two houses in the United States that actually has this in their backyard. Duke has been unique in its leadership in really trying to find ways to accelerate implementation of clean energy. It's one thing to talk the talk and to kind of work on the policy front. It's another thing to put real things out in the real world. In our South uh, Charlotte, our McAlpin test bed, it, we've really built out an entire intelligent network down there. Solar power is the way to go. I mean, it's clean. There's not, it's not, you don't see any runoff off my roof from it. There's no uh, fumes coming off of it. Doesn't use any power from my house. It definitely pays for itself since I wasn't using the roof anyway. What we're doing really is trying to bring everything together in a very integrated way. We're looking at electric vehicles and electric vehicle infrastructure we're, we're, and we're actually deploying it in the field. When we're going out to lunch, I am always the one that gets to drive <laughs> since I'm not using any gas. Right. So. <laughs> Same thing with advanced energy management systems you know, inside a person's home. So this is the main controller. You can look at your energy usage during the day. It makes you more aware of the energy that you're using and the fact you should turn your appliances off when you're not using them.